In this tutorial, you will learn tips on how you can make cool. these text reveal videos using Create Studio Pro. Nice! Amazing! Hey, who are you? Hi, I am Patrick. Your neighbor said I need to provide comic relief for your tutorials. Why isn't my neighbor here himself? He joined the actor's strike. He said, you don't pay him enough. Great. Even when my neighbor is not here, he is still interrupting my tutorials. This is Randy and Patrick with another Create Studio Pro tutorial. The concept for a text reveal is very simple. Let's deconstruct the text reveal of this mountain to see what is going on. On the timeline, there are two tracks of the mountain picture, one on the bottom track and the other on the top. In between the mountain tracks, there is a track for the text which has a position animation. It is this animation that makes the text rise from behind the mountain. The top track is utilizing a track mat, which is signified by this icon here. By hovering the mouse over the icon, you will see the track mat displayed, and by doing a mouse click, the track mat panel will open up at the top. The panel informs us that the mask is called Mount Mask which is the name of the other track in the timeline. To demonstrate the shape of the mask, I am going to hide the bottom track. Now all we see is a portion of the mountain due to the mask. It is this portion that will hide the text until it is time to be revealed. So creating a text reveal is a very simple concept. The text will be hidden behind a mask. Creating a good mask can be quite involved but keep watching and I'll show you tips on several masking techniques. The simplest mask to create is when you want to reveal text from an object that has a single straight line. In Austin, Texas, the straight edge of this skyscraper is where I want the text to be revealed. In this case, I will use the rectangle shape to create the mask. After adding the shape, size the rectangle to cover the text and have the edge of the rectangle match the edge of the skyscraper. Next, create a duplicate of the city picture and move it to the top. With the picture on top selected, click on Track Mat on the far right. This will open the Track Mat panel and use the pull down to select the rectangle as the mask. Oops. Don't forget to set the track mat type to alpha. Now when that is played, you can see the text is revealed as it passes by the edge of the skyscraper. The next step is for a picture that has a curved edge, like the Golden Gate Bridge. The best way to create this mask is with the pen tool. I will put the starting point at the left tower and then put a point on the right tower. But before releasing the mouse button, I will curve the line using the Bezier handles. To adjust the curve on the left side, I will double click the point and adjust the Bezier handles there. OK, now add a third point on the far right, a fourth point on the bottom right, add a fifth point below the picture where the left tower is positioned, and then close the path by clicking on the connect shape. Duplicate the video, move it to the top, and add track mat using the path mask we just created. The text reveal in the mountain again uses the pin to draw along the edge of this mountain ridge. Here you can see the mask has many points along the mountain ridge. Here's a tip for an edge that does not have a sharp definition. Use the feather edge to soften the mask. You can apply the feather edge effect by clicking on the star at the far left and drag feather edge onto the path track. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. It may be subtle, but I found a feather edge of 4% made the mountain ridge appear more natural. The tip for creating a complex mask for this skyline is to group a lot of rectangle shapes to cover the buildings where the text will rise from. 
After adding several shapes, select them and use Ctrl G to group them. Continue adding shapes for the remaining buildings and add them to the group. Here is a tip if the buildings in the picture do not go straight up and down or sideways. Use this distortion feature to put a slant in the rectangle shape. To distort a shape, click on this icon to the right of the shape color and start adjusting the corner points. I will jump ahead to when all the shapes are in place. After the shapes have been put into a single group, duplicate the city image, move it to the top, and add the track mat using the group as the mask. Oops, forgot to change the type to alpha. Now it looks like the text is rising from behind the buildings. There you go. That is how to reveal text from behind objects in your image. Hey, Randy, can I say your tagline? Sure, why not? Hey, everybody. Have a good day and happy creating.